Okay. Let's say I want to change the um, color of, say, these links here, or this uh, this post title. So one way to do that would be to go to the ClickBump Options page, and for the menu link, I would go to Menus, uh, and then I would scroll down to the Header Menu Link Color, and I could change it there. So let's just say I want to change it to this blue color. Um, so I would do that there, and I would click Apply Changes, and then once those changes were set. Uh, it's actually rewriting my C master CSS style sheet to reflect that change. So once those were set, I could go out and refresh my page, and then I see this new color. Uh, and uh, for the post title, I could go down to uh, text and fonts, and then scroll down to the bottom where I see post title I got this these actually in alphabetical order so you'd scroll down to uh, somewhat in alphabetical order you scroll down to post title and I could change that to uh, let's say I want that the uh, say I want it red for example so that's using the theme options and if you know where those settings are if you've done that before that's that's probably the easiest way to do it but the purpose of this particular video is to show you a different way to do that and a way to gain control of your uh, entire website uh, to do some custom tweaks via CSS. So I've done those via the theme options way. Now I'm going to go reset those back to the defaults and I'm going to do it via custom CSS. So I'll just go back and I'll click the blank there, click uh, apply and then I'll go to the menus tab and I'll reset that header link color to transparent which is going to reset it to the default and I'll click apply and go back out and refresh my page and you'll see it's back to the defaults so let's say I wanted to uh, change this this post title uh, text to a different color. Uh, in the Chrome web browser you can actually right click on this element and select inspect element. And that's going to bring up this cool little panel down at the bottom which is kind of like an x-ray uh, vision of the underlying markup of your web page and it actually highlights the area that you clicked on. So in this example I can see that uh, this is a hyperlink with my text and it's wrapped in this H1 that has a class of post title. So that's the key to addressing this element via CSS. I can grab this uh, dot post title. I'm just going to double click on it and copy it. And uh, I can make a note that it's an H1 with a class of post title. And I'm going to click on this sources tab and it's going to show me uh, let's just say I didn't have any of this up. It's going to show me uh, the sources window. Currently there's nothing there so I can click on this little arrow and I can see the structure, all the files and folders and things that make up the page and uh, if I hadn't been here before I, it would look like this. So I'm going to just double click on this learn.clickbump.com which is the root directory here for this website and then on this WP content folder and then on the styles and I'll, it'll show me that I've got this uh, CSS file which is the master CSS file for the page is what you're looking for styles.v67.css and it's one long line of uh, minified styles so I'll just click anywhere here and click the down arrow once and then hit the enter key to create a cursor uh, position on a new line and then I'm going to just paste my class. Uh, so I know it was an H1, so I'm going to say type H1 dot post title. And then I'm going to say color steel blue. And you can see as soon as I entered that, that was changed here. I could say just as easily red and it's going to change it live there in the web browser 
Uh, I can do the same thing with these menu links. I can click on them, click on inspect, inspect element. It's going to change me over to the elements tab where it's going to show me that this particular link I clicked on is it wrapped in a hyperlink. Its parent is an li element whose parent is a ul element. Uh, and that's all wrapped in a nav element. So I'm, I could grab any of these parent elements to do a custom CSS on this. I'm going to grab the menu.nav. I'm going to go back to the sources tab. You can see my custom change I made here is still there. I'm going to paste that menu.nav, convert it to CSS syntax, and I'm going to say for an li element that's in a menu.nav class that contains an a element I want to color that link red now you see that it didn't actually color the link so what that means is there is probably a an, a more um, specific style for this menu nav la that may have uh, an important directive which would trump my just basic color red so I can add the important directive here and then you see that it actually colors those red so um, I could use the knowledge that I have from this little trick to um, do some custom CSS that I may not have available in my theme for any element on the page so for example maybe I want to place the background of this, uh, this uh, make the background of my avatar image a different color. So I right click on that and I can see that it's contained in this hyperlink which is contained in a figure element with the class Arthur Avatar. So I can copy that out and I can say figure dot Arthur Avatar. If I want to, let's just say I want to remove it, I can say display none and it's gone. Uh, or if I want to change the border, I could say border 5 pixels solid red. Okay, so you can see how that's pretty powerful to do anything you want. And then I could grab those styles and I could place them into my custom CSS box here. Just insert my cursor, paste those there, save the changes. And then those changes I made in the browser would be permanent on the website. So that's a quick uh, overview of how to use the Chrome uh, Developer Inspector to uh, quickly create some custom CSS tweaks to uh, customize your site. Thanks for listening and that's the end of this video.